better be smiling in there. Oh yeah, he can make that. Oh. Hundred inches? What? There you go, Hoss. That didn't take too long to get back a orange rig. That guy right there, he lives about an hour and a half, basically on the other side of the mountain range, canyon. And I seen his truck posted on a tagged something like Global, where we get all our tractors from. We got the skid steer, we got the Mechlek and the Prime Tech and all that. And I thought, man, that is just an absolute baller of a setup. And, uh, got to meet the gentleman and a little bit more than that. Yeah. Come in another video when it's not pouring down rain. But he brought it to us. Got to see the hook truck in action. I'm going inside because I am absolutely soaked to the bone. All right, guys, it's time to show you the new machine. Follow the channel for any bit of time now. Haas and I started really working together uh, with uh, 080-3. That was what him and I first purchased back in the day and really got the V-Belt and Sun partnership rocking and rolling. And since then, it's evolved quite a bit we have quite a few tractors and an opportunity for this machine popped up that we weren't even looking for at all but this is a 2018 080-4 so it's got pretty much the same hours it's the same machine there's subtle differences from the manufacturer but this one actually used to belong to uh, my buddy Casey and he actually bought a newer one so that he could have one of them out on fires or whatever and then he could have one working local if he's doing work, work in, weekend work get up in there bud so why did we buy this one well we actually just swung by and we're hanging out at his house and wanted to check out the uh, incon setup that he had on both machines are set up for it 
And I did remember seeing this one for sale on Craigslist for a little bit. And I was talking to him about it. And the numbers kind of made sense to buy the machine from him. Because it wasn't like a complete sell the other one, pay for this one. This is going to cost quite a bit in the end to get what we want. But this one has basically bare stick. But it has the Encon installation, all the lines, everything. We're borrowing the bucket from him. And basically got a quick disconnect quick disconnect hydraulic plate but it's got all the stuff in there for hooking right up to the tilt rotator and it's kind of funny how this is all set up all the you know the lines and everything for running the tilt rotator running the any attachments you put on there the lower flow stuff all goes through those right there that are always hooked up and i thought that was pretty cool so what else does this machine have to offer that the other one didn't so this bad boy's got a bunch of simple stuff added to it. Two inch receiver hitch, welded into the plate. That's not factory, but that's gonna come in handy. We're about to uh, actually put that to the test. But Casey goes through and does some pretty sweet stuff, like little slots to put the hoses in. These protective guards for the quick couplers. So all your quick couplers for your hydraulic stuff are still up in there. You just pull those two bolts out and that hinges out of the way, nice and simple. Cab guarding on the front. You just got little screen door covers protecting your condenser. Underneath, everything is realistically... Need to grease that. Realistically the same. There isn't too much different, which is nice to be just straight up familiar with the machine. Some of the hydraulic stuff is going to be a little bit different on the flow rate. Obviously, it's going to be a little bit better than the last machine just based on evolution. Engine... What I can tell is the same, except for it's got some emissions stuff going on with it. But we do have more horsepower. Do have a uh, little bit of a trap in there. Hydraulic pump, I think they changed it up. That's why it's called a Dash 4. It, it's definitely different under there than the last one. This isn't going to be a machine for running a multi head on it. This will be a machine for running the tilt rotator, which is going to be sweet. Extra counterweight already added. He's checked off some pretty sweet options. But what the price point of making this purchase makes sense is you step into the cab here. Hi, Dad. Hi, Callahan. You want to show them around in here a little bit? Where's the joysticks at? Joysticks. Yeah, the ones you've been playing with. Yeah, right there. The Encon joysticks. You wouldn't think that those are super Five, expensive, but six. there's a lot of dollars right there. A lot of dollars, thousands of dollars. That right there is for running a mulcher head. Those are your open control functions for the doors on the sides of your multer head. Easy does it, bud. Don't break that bad boy off there. Hi, Dad. Computer set up for the Encon, so literally just need to buy the tilt rotator, which is not cheap, and this thing can go straight to work. Everything's all, I would say, professionally wired up in here. Even came with a whole CB. Look at that right there. I'm pretty dang excited about this whole, whole rig. Just everything's a little bit different layout in the cab, but you know, I think ultimately we're going to be into this about double what we were into the last 080 to get the rotator on there, and then we still got to get a grapple. You get down here, bud. But we're going to go ahead and put the ball on here and go move the dump trailer around. Let's go get the trailer ball first. You want to super jump down? Yeah. There we go. Where's the ball at? Yep, that's it right there. That button. There you go. Hit it. Grandpa, say help me, Grandpa. Oh, it's a, a You ready? You hold the bucket down. Hold the bucket down. No, hold the bucket. Yeah, you want to lift or hold the bucket? Oh. Put the bucket down, Callahan. Hold it. Okay, let's go in the hole. Huh? There you go, bud. Help Grandpa put that in her hand. No, you don't put the bucket in there. <laughs> All 
All right, I think it's kind of comical that we sold an 080 to just buy another 080, but that bare stick on the end of it and that quick coupler, that just unlocks and opens so many windows and doors that it, it's just unbelievable. So if you guys would be so nice, I'd really appreciate it. If you go to the NCON Instagram page, I think that'd be the easiest way, and just tag the V-Belt and Sun page. I would really appreciate that. If you wanted to put a little bit of information, you know, talk about the channel, that would be awesome as well. But I've already talked to the West Coast distributor of NCON and or NCON, however you want to say it, and trying to uh, get some numbers and some quotes on figuring it out. But at the end of the day, you know, with the channel and just in general, it's so much more fun and just it's nice to be a part of programs like that. So buying this whole tractor is, you know, that one thing, that's an expensive tractor, but buying Encon in the end of it there, that's another tractor of its own. So if you guys want to tag the V-Belt and Sun page on there, just show them a little bit of the social media power that we might have here. I'd appreciate that a lot, but this thing's already fallen into the fold just like clockwork. It's honestly awesome. My dad and my boy, actually, you saw it, they planted a tree with this bad boy the other day. So when my boy grows up later, I remember when I was young, and my dad and I, we planted a little tree, and I remember I was out growing it for a little bit, but now that thing's as tall as one of these oaks or more, and he actually cut the top out of it the other day. So little moments like that are pretty neat to see. Uh, other things about this machine, realistically, it's just about exactly the same as our old one, except for instead of a 080-3, this one's a dash four. It does have emissions on it, so it does have a reburn kind of thing, which kicks on every once in a while, which is kind of a drag, but let's just see what you gotta do. Slightly more horsepower, which is awesome and i believe i always thought that the takahuchi machines were just a little bit faster than these and because i ran my buddy ken he's got like a it's 17 18 or 19 rock and k comment below what year your machine is i don't remember but i ran that with a mulcher head on it which is equivalent to about a thousand plus pounds on the end of the stick and i mean it ran nice smooth ran the mulcher head great it felt pretty comparable to uh, our older machine that i sold to my buddy garrett who just today put a mulcher head on it so I'm excited for him to do some steep slopes grinding with that. But anyway, my point being is I didn't feel like the Kubota was that fast compared to the Takahuchi because the Takahuchi were just throwing a bucket around, lightning quick, but it didn't have the lifting power of the Kubota. I noticed that after running both of them doing the same kind of work. But after running this one with just the bucket on the end of it, this thing is really quick and smooth. I don't know what the boom speed and everything, if it's gonna be the same exact as the Takahuchi, but I was like, man, I didn't know that they were this thing picked up a little bit of speed i'm stoked on that so the digging stuff if we do more dirt work jobs or personal jobs around the property when the incon gets on there i'll be stoked on it but i was so thrilled to get this machine i was more excited to get this than i had i was probably more excited about this than i was the mechalek definitely like more excited than the prime uh, i don't know what it was about this thing it was like getting my new truck i was so stoked on this but anyway thank you guys so much for watching if you would be so kind i would appreciate it tagging v belt and sun on the income page we'll see you guys in the next one get out there and get to work i gotta strap down the 12 fuel it up to get it ready for not tomorrow's job but drop it off on the next job before i go to the current job so i can finish tomorrow's job take the mechalic off of it drop it on the next job where the 12 is you keeping up with her okay good we'll see you guys in the next one and hopefully this thing will be out in the jobs sometime soon but thank you so much for watching see you later it feels good to be back in the Kubota. I like it. I like it. Ooh, counterweight.